Hello everyone, this is Yu Zhang from Intel's virtualization team. And my topic is CoLMMU. A virtual LMMU with cooperative DMA buffer tracking for efficient memory management in direct IO. Okay, as you may know, direct IO is the best performant IO virtualization method widely deployed in cloud and data centers. Uh, with a hardware device assigned to the virtual machine, uh, the guest can perform DMA operations directly without the need of host intervention. At the host site, Hypervisor programs the hardware LMMU pitch table, the LPT, to provide the inter-guest inter -guest protection. However, direct IO faces the problem of static pinning due to two reasons. The first one is that most devices do not support DMA page faults. That means the DMA buffer needs to be pre, uh, um, needs to be pinned in hardware LMMU before the DMA operation. By pinned, we mean this buffer need be pre-allocated and mapped in the LMMU pitch table, the LPT. Second, since hardware since hardware has no visibility of guest DMA activities. It has to assume that all guest, all guest pages could be used as a DMA buffer. So uh, the hypervisor must pre-allocate and pin the entire guest memory before the, uh, the guest DMA operations, for example, during the VM creation time. The problem of static pinning is quite obvious. We have to tolerate the much increased VM creation time and greatly reduce the memory uh, utilize, utilization. For example, advanced features like page migration, memory over, over commitment, and uh, late allocation and uh, swiping are not possible in static pinning because the entire guest memory must be statically pinned during the whole life cycle of the guest. One possible solution of static pinning is to expose uh, a virtual guest LMMU, the VLMMU, to the guest. The primary purpose of VLMMU is to pro provide the in intra guest protection with virtual DMA remapping. As a side effect, fine grained pinning is possible with VLMMU. When DMA remapping is enabled in the guest, the guest will use VLMMU to map and unmap DMA buffers. This map and unmap request will be forwarded to Hypervisor to dynamically pin and unpin guest DMA buffers on behalf of the guest. In such cases, with the inset of guest DMA activity, the static, static pinning is no longer necessary. Also, like other virtual devices, VLMMU can be an emulated one or a peri-virtualized one. However, VLMMU has its problem. The emulation cost of current VLMMU could be significant. For, for example, we observed more than 96% performance downgrade in MemCached in VMs with VLMMU. Well, there are some uh, aggressive optimizations proposed. However, uh, these proposals are uh, gained a limited benefit of performance improvement at the cost of compromised security and extra hardware CPU consumption. So as a result, virtual DMA remapping is normally disabled in current VRM mills by most uh, uh, guest OSs. For example, uh, uh, um, the users may choose to opt in when security requirement is prioritized over performance concern. For example, Linux offers pass-through policy which disables uh, DMA remapping completely. And it also offers uh, the strict and lazy policies to enable the DMA remapping. For the guest security requirement, it varies. For example, uh, the DMA remapping is needed when an uh, untrusted uh, device is plugged in or when a device is assigned to the guest user's disk driver. So 
Although VLMA Mill provides an architectural way for learning guest DMA efforts, it is not a reliable solution to achieve fine grained pinning. However, we argue that uh, mixing the requirement of protection and pinning through a same costly DMA remapping interface is needlessly constraining. Intra guest protection is an optional guest site requirement. Where fine grained pinning is a general host site requirement for efficient memory management, the host need, needs the capability to efficiently track guest DMA buffers. So, how about we decouple the DMA tracking and the DMA remapping interfaces in VLMU? That means we want a separate DMA buffer tracking mechanism in the VLMU without relying on any semantics of DMA remapping. And if this mechanism is efficient enough, we may expect that most guests to always enable it for fine grained pinning. For this DMA buffer tracking mechanism, we, ex we expect it to be orthogonal to the DMA remapping. It means the enabling of the DMA tracking shall not affect the desired protection of DMA remapping. Also, DMA tracking should incur only negligible cost. The performance expectations and the different protection policies shall be sustained. Non-intrusiveness. We tried to minimize the changes in the guest software stack and uh, uh, the, the, the DMA tracking shall be widely applicable. We, it means that uh, such solutions shall work with all kinds of IO devices and it shall be easily ported to different VLM implementations. Extensible. The solution should be extensible to help address other limitations in memory management. For example, it can help to track the dirty DMA pages. Here we propose a co cooperative DMA buffer tracking as a virtualized interface. Cooperative means bidirectional information sharing between the guest and the host about the DMA info uh, DMA buffer information. And the fundamental information shared is the uh, pinned status and the DMA mapped status for each guest page. The host test tells the guest whether a page is pinned in hardware LMMU. And the guest tells the host whether this page a page, whether a page is mapped for DMA. With this information, we can minimize the uh, VM exit when I'm mapping, uh, when minimize the VM access when mapping a DMA pages. I mean, the pin, pinning, page pinning requests are only needed for guest pages which are not pinned yet. Also, we eliminate the VM access when the guest uh, maps a DMA page. Also, we enable flexible host memory management policies. For example, the host can unpin any guest pages which are not DMA mapped. Here, this is the architecture of CoLMMU. We introduce the DMA tracking table, the DTT, to hold the shared DMA buffer information. And in the guest, we hook the CoLMMU driver uh, to guest DMA API. The CoLMMU driver intercepts the DMA API operations in the guest and updates uh, the DTT accordingly. It will choose to notify the hypervisor for page pinning if, such, uh, if the DMA buffer is not pinned yet. At the host side, there are three major components. The DMA remapping engine, the DMA tracking engine, and the page pinning manager, the P manager. The DMA remapping engine has the same functionality for intro protection as in current VLM MUs. And in our prototype, we are just leveraging the DMA remapping logic in virtual VTD. For the DMA tracking engine, it is a new uh, function dedicated to DMA buffer tracking over the DTT. It also holds the base address of the DTT and uh, it emulates a doorbell register uh, for the guest to 
forward uh, to send the pending request notification. The P manager is also a new function, which is invisible to the guest. It is responsible for the implementation of fine-grained pinning policy. The DTT, DMA tracking table, it is a hierarchical tabling structure uh, shared between the host and the guest and indexed by the guest page frame number. For each, for each guest page, there is a tracking unit which, which holds the DMA buffer information. For example, the mapped flag, which indicates if a page is currently mapped for DMA, the pinned flag, which indicates if a page is already pinned by the hypervisor. Also, the accessed flag, which indicates if a page has been used for DMA recently. So to minimize the notification overhead of fine-grained pinning, CoLRMMO introduces the smart pinning which is done in three ways. The first one is instant pinning. It is a hard requirement that uh, the pinning must be done instantly before any page, uh, before any mapped page is, is used uh, for DMA. And the process notification, that means the uh, guests only need to notify the hypervisor for pages that are not pinned yet. And the speculative pinning as an uh, optimization the P manager can choose to speculatively pin frequently used pages. And to achieve efficient memory management in the host, CoLRMMU introduces lazy unpinning. It is done asynchronously by the P manager, which tries to unpin the pages that are no longer mapped. And uh, the unpinned pages are reclaimable later. Okay. Let's take a look at the process of guest DMA mapping operations. For guest DMA map, the guest CoLRMMU driver will set the mapped flag for each guest for each DMA mapping. Meanwhile, check the pinned status of this page. Uh, the uh, pinning notification is necessary necessary only when the pinned flag is zero. This this means the uh, process notification. The good news is that. We found more than 99% notifications can be avoided thanks to the DMA buffer locality. It is very likely that a recently pinned page will be reused in future DMA operations. And for guest DMA RMAP, CoLR memory driver just clears the mapped flag in the DTT, and there is no notification needed at all. At the host side, the P manager performs lazy unpinning and speculative pinning in a separate thread. This thread periodically checks the mapped and accessed status for each pinned page. And it can go ahead with lazy unpinning or speculative pinning based on the results. So with lazy unpinning, we can achieve efficient memory management in the host. Okay, DMA tracking and the DMA remapping. We know that in the majority of cases, DMA remapping is disabled by the guest. And the DMA tracking with CoLRMMU can be an efficient solution to achieve fine-grained pinning. However, intra-guest protection may be needed in some scenarios. For example, DMA remapping can be conditionally enabled for some untrusted uh, uh, devices. In Current implementation, the hypervisor still must uh, uh, fall back to the static pinning as long as there is uh, still some uh, assigned device which are not using DMA remapping. And uh, another example is DMA remapping can be enabled when the device is assigned to the guest user space driver. And the DMA remapping need to be later disabled when the device is returned back to the kernel driver. In current implementation, it means switching between the static pinning and the fine-grained pinning, which leads to increased overhead because the entire guest memory needs to be unpinned and pinned during such switching. So in such cases, DMA tracking offered by the CoLRMMU can help provide a reliable way for fine-grained pinning. And if DMA remapping is always enabled, for all devices, 
uh, at all time. DMA tracking can provide a consistent DMA tracking interface as other two categories with negligible cost. Meanwhile, it can sustain the protection semantics deserved by the test. So about the, our implementation. Our implementation of CoLMML is based on QDM and QNU. We extended the existing virtual inter VTD. We reused the remapping logic in VLMML as a remap engine. And the P manager and the uh, track engine are developed from scratch. At the guest side, we extended the guest Intel LMML driver to support the DMA tracking. And uh, you may see from this table that there is no ad hoc changes in any guest device driver. And uh, we also believe that our solution is applicable to other guest OSs as long as this OSs has a generic DMA API. So since the new uh, DMA tracking interface is vendor agnostic and self-contained, CoLMML can be easily ported to other virtual LMML implementations. Okay, the huge page mapping. In our implementation, the DTT tracks guest pages in 4KB granularity. And in QNU, the P manager can choose to uh, conduct a huge page pinning by merging continuous guest pages. Sub page mapping. We realized that multiple DMA buffers may co locate in the same guest page, for example, the network package. It implies that one guest page could be uh, mapped and unmapped multiple times concurrently. So, in our prototype, the guest CoLR memory driver tracks the mapping count of each mapped page. Only when the mapping count of our guest page reaches zero will the mapped flag be cleared. For, for this page. Kernel bypassing. Kernel bypassing allows the guest application to directly manage its DMA buffers in the user space. It requires the user space to pre-register a chunk of memory. And this pre-registered chunk of memory still need to be mapped through guest, uh, LMMU, uh, guest kernel LMMU driver. Therefore, it is still trackable in CoLMML. Concurrency. CoLMML must properly handle concurrent uh, pinning and unpinning requests between multiple VSCU threads and the unpinning thread. Um, I, I'm not gonna illustrate the, the, the detailed implementation of this concurrency issue due to the time limitation, so uh, people can refer to the uh, our paper for a detailed description of this evaluation. So our evaluation aims to answer below questions. What's the performance overhead imposed by CoLR manual? What about the memory footprint in various direct I/O usages? And does uh, direct uh, does uh, CoLR manual sustain the sustain the desired performance? And the security and the different uh, guest uh, in, in, intra guest protection policies. To answer these questions, we evaluated the CoLMML against the virtual VTD in three different policies, respectively. The first one is pass through mode, which is the best performance. It has no DMA remapping at all. And the second one is strict mode, which offers full protection with DMA remapping. And the third one is laser mode, uh, which offers relaxed protection with DMA remapping. We choose a wide range of benchmarks to evaluate the performance and the memory footprint in, uh, for example, the direct networking, direct storage, and the direct GPU. For direct networking, we are using benchmarks such as uh, NetPerf, Nginx, and MemCatchD. For direct storage, we are using FIO, and uh, Open Arena is the benchmark we choose for direct GPU. And uh, as you can see from this figure, there is no obvious performance overhead incurred by DMA tracking in different configurations. 
the memory footprint. This figure shows the memory footprint, which is the number of guest pages pinned in different benchmarks. And you can see that when DMA remapping is uh, uh, disabled, the entire guest memory needs to be statically pinned if there is no features like DMA tracking. And with uh, uh, DMA tracking, uh, only 0.5% of guest memory is pinned. Besides the performance benchmarks, we also evaluated the impact of memory overcommitment by static pinning versus uh, fan grade pinning. As you can see, with fan grade pinning, there is no performance drop, and with uh, quite some free memories in the hot. So people can refer to the paper for detailed description of this experiment. Guest user space driver. We have mentioned earlier that DMA remapping need be, needs to be enabled when guest tries to assign some device to its user space driver, and then later be disabled when reassign re it back to the kernel driver. So without DMA tracking, it means switching between the static pinning and the fan grade pinning. To verify, we run DPTK with Koa MMU and with virtual VTD respectively. As you can see from this table, that Koa MMU can dramatically reduce the latency in different stages compared with virtual VTD because Koa MMU always used fan grade pinning. The last experiment is about a DMA temporal locality, which is important for high performance IO processing. And we found that DMA temporal locality stays good, even in stressed scenarios. So looking forward, we expect the core LMMU can be enhanced, for example, to co-work with DMA page force by proactively prepping the frequently used pages. Uh, meanwhile, uh, since CoLMMU is a pair-virtualized approach, therefore it means it requires a guest cooperation. So it is possible that a guest, selfish guest uh, may uh, deliberately report fake DMA pages or simply disable CoLMMU driver. So in the future, we may choose to build a quota mechanism alongside the CoLMMU based on the service level agreement. Also, a new trend of LMMU is to support two-level address translation, for example, the scalable mode in Intel VTD, allowing the guest to skip some uh, virtual IoTRB invalidation. So CoLMMU can be extended uh, to also provide efficient DMA buffer tracking in such scenario. Uh, in, conclusion, in conclusion, current VLM mills cannot reliably eliminate static pinning in direct I.O. Uh, while CoLM mill can offer a reliable approach to achieve fine-grained pinning uh, with a cooperative DMA buffer tracking method. It dramatically improves the efficiency of memory management with a negligible cost. Meanwhile, it sustains the desired security requirement in different protection usages. And uh, we also believe that the core can easily be uh, applied in various VLMMU implementations. Okay, that's all for this uh, sharing please feel free to email us for any questions about uh, CoLMMU. Thank you for listening and bye-bye. Uh,